Um, yeah. How old were you when your mum died? I was 11. That's dare to early on. What mm. happened? So, I find it quite uncomfortable to speak about. But do, you, do you want to leave No, it? no, no, I find it uncomfortable to speak about, but I did an interview a couple of years ago. And from the back of it, it had a great response and I had people getting in touch with yeah, me. I'm happy to leave it. No, no, from, from okay. 20-year-olds to 70-year-olds got in touch with me. To say that they felt... To say that you spoke about something like that and yeah. um, we feel like we can and thanks for sharing another thing. So, Mum passed away when I was 11. Um, probably only found out a couple of weeks before. That she was sick? Yeah. Yeah, OK. And... It, it, you, you had... It, you, you take your time now and you, you can regroup for a second if you want to. So... Just like my little boy is, to my yeah. wife, uh, and the two girls are to me... Yeah. I was my mum's little boy. Yes. So, she was my world. Did you have brothers and sisters? And... So I had... <laughs> yeah? Take Give me a minute. No, take, yeah, take so a So hard, water. yeah. It is difficult because, you know, when, when you're 11 years old and you can grow up all you want, <clears throat> but you'll always have 11, that 11 year old in your heart and, and he keeps coming out. And that's normal. I'll prepare for this as well. So I'm all right now. I'll okay. prepare for this. Go, but, yes, take your time. You know, hit you because I don't, I don't speak about it a lot. I understand. So I was my mum's little boy, so that was my world. Gotcha. So then you go off to senior school, secondary school over in England. Yeah. And you go through and you're sort of lost in a way. Yeah. It becomes a taboo subject. And then you go through, and I signed for Blackburn when I was 15, 16, and then moved home. Sure. So you go off on your own and really still, I was a little boy, I was still lost. You don't know, you don't know anything. Look, I'm not the only one that goes through it. There's plenty of children that go through it the same. Um, so, yeah, she was a lot to me, and it's only really from the past couple of years you speak about her more. And it, it became a bit of a taboo subject. Why taboo, I wonder? Like, what was the... It's just... It's just we don't discuss it, sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, I think yeah. it's changing now. I think yeah. it's changing, and I try and get my kids to discuss it with me. Yeah. I think you're probably from that... But, but, yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. it becomes a taboo subject, so you don't really speak about it, and I think we're all guilty of it. Mm. Uh, and the more you speak about it, the better it is. Yeah. So, I did an interview a couple of years ago, and the guy um, from the Times over in England, Henry Winter, he caught me by surprise, and he, I never speak about my mum with it, really. Just don't. This is the reason, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, he caught me by surprise. He, he caught me off guard, and I bro sort of broke down to him. Yes. And I was telling him things that I went through my whole career. Telling him things that I was ashamed of. I, was telling him I went through everything. Uh, and it was a big relief. So on the back yeah. of that, I did a couple of other things that made me feel great. So... <laughs> You know, I'm not, I'm not any different to anyone else. It's, it's, it's great to speak about it. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, the past, past year has been hard. We've had other things going on in the family as well. Uh, and I'm still coming to terms with it. So it's not just my mum. See, if in, if in the photo you saw uh, my brother as well, who was 35, same age as me now. He passed away last year. I'm sorry. Okay. That's too young. Yeah, yeah, so you've a lot of stuff going yeah, on, don't so you? Yeah, and then... <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'd rather say it, I'd rather get it out. Yeah, I pre so well, take your time, John, there's no rush. It was, uh, you, you just come to terms with it, you're just beginning to speak about it, and then... And then something else shows up, is that it? And, and, and... <sighs> We were on pre-season in Cork, yeah. in Burnley. Okay. And got a call off my brother to say, it's the bad news, really. What can you do? I, I went home. Yeah. Are you okay to keep going? Yeah. Okay. Me being me. Okay, you want to you, you 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 tell this story, and I respect that. Do you know what? My wife knows, my wife's here, and I don't really speak about it a lot. I spoke okay. about it with the kids. Sure. And it's funny because I go home, people watching it now, and I don't really, like, I'll open up to you randomly. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel better. So my brother passed away. I went in, back into Burnley the next day training. Uh, then the same day, 
the day after. Um, my wife loses a baby. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Okay. That's, that's, that's beyond impossible to comprehend, to be quite honest with you. And you're trying to compute all this in your life, in your head, in your heart, right? And what, 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 where do you go with that? Do you, do you ring somebody? Do you, do you go home and try and talk it through? I can throw myself back into work. Into work, which is a very common thing to do. But at the same time, sort of roll a triple whammy. Yeah. <laughs> a triple whammy out there, I'm laughing at it because it's, it's yeah. quite amusing, but it's not. So my daughter, we find out my daughter has scoliosis as well. Okay. You had a lot going on, right? And, and did, did you talk to somebody? Or were you in a position to talk to a counsellor or somebody? Or did you find it was just too much to be even getting into that sort of territory? Do you know what? I'm okay with it. Yeah. But it's when I speak about it. Yeah. That's when I struggle with it. Well, it's a lot so to be struggling I with. I lost James. <clears throat> yes. Um, who's 35. Mm -hmm. Then, obviously, <laughs> dropped a bit of a bombshell there because <laughs> no one knew about my wife. Yeah. Apart from me and my wife. Then my daughter, within the same week, yeah. um, I was, like all the help of the doctors, the club doctor at Burnley and sure. Alan Burnham through Ireland, you know, to talk to with it. Yeah. I found out she had scoliosis, but and you had to arrange your brother's funeral at the same time. So it's tough. How's your wife doing? She's great. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's she, 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 no, is, she no, your you support? Know what? Yeah, you know and, and, and I threw myself into things, so... She's here tonight. Yeah, we, we organised my, 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 my brother's funeral. And then, uh, and then you go through that, and then yeah. you sort of go back into work, so you're every day in work, and then... I'll just compound it, so you carry on. So I'm at an age where I'm 35. Yeah. Playing football, I've got three kids, Scarlett, Sienna and Eli. Scarlett's mm. one with scoliosis, um, Sienna and Eli. Yeah, Eli's yeah. mental on football. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, Eli's mental are, on football. Are you their favourite footballer or not? Oh. So Eli, uh, a couple of years ago, was uh, going through the sticker cards. It's match attacks, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so he's in school handing out the match attacks. And uh, who's your favourite player? I think Sienna asked him, who's your favourite player? He says, uh, it's when Leicester won the league. He's like, Jamie Vardy. No, no, Jamie no. Vardy. Wrong and answer. Sienna Wrong said, answer. you can't say that. <laughs> Daddy's got to be your favourite player. <laughs> and uh, he says, Daddy's yeah. rubbish. Daddy's yeah. rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> He said oh, to your yeah, face. Yeah. Oh, yeah.